In the trial of Michael Jackson's doctor, jurors hear from Dr. Conrad Murray, part of an interview with police after the singer's death in 2009. We're going to be doing a concert tour in England, and Mr. Jackson would very much like me to be part of, of the trip and to be there for the concerts. And um, when I agreed to that, and I said, well, I need more details. Murray tells of meeting Jackson, then treating him, including using the powerful anesthetic propofol. The doctor says he tried to wean Jackson off propofol, fearing he was addicted. The doctor has pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter. So far, the courtroom has seen witnesses ranging from friends of the doctor who called on the day of Jackson's death. I pressed the phone against my ear and I heard um, mumbling of voices. It sounded like the phone was maybe in his pocket or something. It was and I heard coughing. This doctor was in the emergency room. Mr. Jackson died long before he became a patient that I was personally responsible for. So, no, knowing even more information, it is unlikely with that information I would have been able to do something different that would have changed the outcome. Authorities say Murray gave Jackson a lethal dose of sedatives, trying to help the singer sleep. But the defense says Jackson gave himself the dose after Murray left the room. If Murray is convicted, he faces up to four years in prison and the possible loss of his medical license. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.